ousted in 2013, but Francois Bozize is convinced the country wants him back and that he holds the key to restoring peace after almost three years of bloody sectarian turmoil. For now, Bozize won't get the chance to prove it. The Constitutional Court has cleared 30 candidates to run for president on December 27th, and Bozize is not one of them. The election is being touted as a key step on the country's road to recovery. Almost two million people have registered to vote. But some question whether a viable and fair election can be held. Much of the country remains unstable. Many thousands remain displaced. The disarmament of the armed group hasn't been done, really. You know, the, everything that was supposed to be done in terms of justice hasn't been done either. In terms of redeployment of the state hasn't been done either. So just to go to the election thinking that it will arrange things, I think is a big mistake. If you have elections again that are not inclusive, then it's not a question about what it will trigger for the one or two next years. It's really a question about what it will trigger for the 10 or 20 coming years. And some who toppled Francois Bozize also opposed the election. One rebel leader, Nureddin Adam, says he will block the election in the north and east of the CAR. The government has branded that threat an act of war. I think it has to be taken very seriously, actually, because Nureddin Adam is one of the hardliners of the Seleka. Huh? He has shown by the past that he was not afraid to defy the international forces on the ground, and he has quite a lot of people behind him. So I think more broadly it questions, it raises the question of the acceptance of the electoral process by the armed groups. The UN has almost 11,000 peacekeepers on the ground in the CAR. Among them, troops from more than 20 African countries. Officials say they will be stretched, trying to keep the peace, should violence flare up as the election date draws near. Jim Kale, CCTV.